Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and in this video I'm going to discuss with you replacement cushions that could change your life for your headphones. You don't want to miss it. Brainwaves Audio. Let's get it. But before Sorry, but before we get started, please do all of the things that help this channel grow. Like this video, comment and subscribe below, hit the bell notifications, and do me a favor, there's a donation link in the description box below. You can donate to the channel if you choose to do so. There's a ton of affiliate links down there and a link to Epidemic Sound. All of those links help this channel financially if you choose to do so, if you choose to use it. So if you are interested in some of the products that I discuss or showcase here on this channel, be sure to check out the links in the description box below. It'll help the channel out greatly. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Let's rewind back years and years ago where I decided that I wanted to get back into the recording game a little bit and I wanted to record some of my own tracks for the first time in a really long time. I was living in a small apartment, limited space, extremely limited budget, and I had to choose wisely all of the products or things that I would have to purchase in order to get started. In fact, the PC that I ended up replacing was the very first PC that was made for me so that I can get that process started. Long story short, I couldn't afford studio monitors, and to be honest with you, I don't think my neighbors or my landlord would have appreciated me having them anyway. So I had to figure out a different system, and I eventually decided to purchase purchase these very headphones right here. These are AKG K52s. Relatively popular, known for the sort of lower priced end of studio headphones. Definitely nothing to write home about, um, but it was what I could afford at that time. I was actually impressed with them. Were they the best headphones I had ever used? Were they giving me the most even natural sound? Probably not, but here's something that I've always preached. Whether you're using studio monitors or headphones, I'm not really worried about which ones you use as long as you understand how to determine what it's giving you. And what I mean by that is you have to learn the product. If there's a certain frequency that this product is heightening, you gotta know that. So for example, I would never wanna use a certain headphones that favor frequencies, but if you have to, it's good to know what frequencies they are. And it's good to hear and listen to things, like a lot of stuff through those headphones so you can learn how you want your mix to sound and what that mix would sound like using that product. So that when you inevitably listen to your mix, on other products like radio or headphones or even through an iPhone, it's gonna sound pretty much the way you want it to on all platforms. And I eventually really got to know these headphones and love these headphones. In fact, I still use them to this very day. Now, admittingly so, I do prefer to use studio monitors and I have upgraded to some more higher quality headphones, but guess what? On a weekly basis, I still use these. I use these at my home church right now in our uh, streaming setup where I listen to the audio that's coming through. Uh, though I no longer mix the audio, now I run the broadcast portion of it. I still wanna make sure that the audio's sounding good. And to be honest with you, I wanna keep tabs a little bit on the sound guy there to make sure that it's sounding as good as possible. Needless to say, I've grown very fond of these headphones and they've lasted me a really long time. Now, don't get me wrong, they started to fall apart on me. This little top leather portion eventually started disintegrating all over my head. I had to put electrical tape all over that. I eventually needed to use a Velcro to hold it in place. I'm probably just gonna end up cutting it off at some point, but the worst, and if you've ever used headphones to the point of where this happens and you know my pain, the buds started to fall apart. They started to disintegrate and it was starting to leave all of these black black little pieces of leather all over my clothes, all over my ear. And the day that I became super fed up is when a little, little piece ended up all the way inside of my ear and I had to fish it out. It was terrible. In my mind, I thought maybe it's time to retire these. They're finally done. They served its purpose. I've listened to hours and hours of music on here. I've mixed on, on these headphones. They have honestly put their time in. Maybe it was time to retire them and start traveling with my Sennheisers and use those on a weekly basis. And just as I was about to give up hope, I thought, what if I looked for replacement cushions? It's never something I've had to do. I've never owned a pair of headphones that meant this much to me, and I've never owned them for that long long. I'm definitely more of a monitor guy. I don't like using headphones. And the times that I did, it was always like studio provided headphones. So I never really worried about it. 
but I wanted these back in action. And the internet provided me access to this company by the name of Brain Waves Audio. Now though Brain Waves has multiple accessories for different style things, accessories for gamers, studio gear, headphones in general. In fact, they have some of their own dedicated headphones, but it appears that they built their name on creating replacement cushions. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. Probably the coolest looking pair of headphone cushions, but you know what? To be honest with you, the most comfortable I've ever used hands down. One of the main reasons why I've always preferred listening to studio monitors versus headphones is because of ear fatigue. As some of you may have already noticed, my ears, they stick out quite a bit. I have gauges, so headphones bother those a little bit, and I'm a glasses wearer, so when my ears get pinched, it's just not comfortable for me. So I've never felt comfortable wearing them for a long periods of time. I also genuinely suffer from ear fatigue when I have headphones on for a long period of time. Uh, it just it starts to bother and it even starts to give me a little bit of a headache and affects my throat and everything. It's not fun for me. That was until I found these cushions, man. At least once a week, I have to wear these for hours at a time and I never even notice it. I don't suffer from ear fatigue. I don't have to worry about having to take them off to give my ears a rest. They are incredibly comfortable. And I have to be honest with you, I think they look so cool. They made my headphones look so much better. Uh, they have different colors and they pretty much make a cushion for every headphone that I checked for at the very least. Now I have to admit, I was hesitant and so I didn't buy like replacement cushions for all of my headphones that I use here in the studio. I just bought them for these because these were the only ones that needed it, number one. And number two, I just didn't trust it, but they are absolutely amazing. I love the way they just slip on. It's a super easy installation. I was actually worried that maybe because it was so easy to go on that it would be really easy for them to slip off and I've never had that problem. And I don't even travel with a headphone case. I throw them right in my book bag. So they pretty much take a beating on a, on a weekly basis. And I have had no problems so far. They have stood exactly the same way. The cushion hasn't gone down not even a little bit. I don't see any kind of degrading in the leather or whatever material this is. It's just fantastic. And look at this color, this wine burgundy color. Come on, man, it's really dope. I love it. As far as the sound quality, I also don't feel like it's changed anything in terms of the sound. Now, one thing I do want to point out is that it is significantly thicker. The space is much more thicker. I'd say by almost a full inch, like it's really thick. But I honestly haven't noticed a difference. And in fact, I think I've been able to situate them a little bit easier with these on uh, in, in terms of getting more consistency. If you wear headphones a lot to mix or to, or to record or for even listening purposes, you know that moving your headphones even just a tiny bit can totally change the way frequencies are heard by your ears. And there were times where I felt like I had to find the sweet spot to make sure that I was hearing the consistency of these headphones to, to hear it in the way that I know they're supposed to sound like. But with these cushions, I feel like I could find that sweet spot a lot faster. I do want to let you guys know this is not a sponsored video they didn't send me these for free i paid for these with my hard-earned money i went online found something that works and now i want to bring it to your attention because that's the kind of stuff that i want to find here on youtube i like the fact that i could do legwork that maybe you don't need to do and convince you that hey i use these if you trust me then i think they will work really great for you now, are, are these perfect? Probably my only quirk about them is with this particular pair of headphones. The K52s have a cable that sits right towards the bottom of the left bud. And therefore, as you can see in the B-roll, that cushion sort of like is getting in the way of the, of the cable. Now, it's not affecting it in any kind of way. It's more of a cosmetic issue than it is anything else. But I guess that's the one gripe that I have with it, that it's not totally made for this particular pair of headphones. I'm not even sure how you would fix that. Maybe a, a hole and that you would have to feed it through the case. I, I don't know. But what I do know is that it doesn't cosmetically look super cool at that point right there. But other than that, they work perfect. That's all I got for this week's video. Kind of a short one straight to the point. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the content lately. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please be sure to do all of the things that help this channel grow. Like this video, comment and subscribe below. Hit the bell icon so you get the notifications. All the links are in the description box below. Affiliate links, links to help this channel out. Guys, thank you again for watching and until next week.